everyone, Denise here from So Limitless, and in today's video, it's going to be, I'm kind of putting it together piece by piece, and I'll explain why, so let's get started. So basically, this video is going to be about um, the dresses I made for Project Tressa Girl, and I'm going to have some links down below, because you still have a little bit of time left, it, you, it goes through the end of September, so you've still got a little bit of time but I was going to try to get this video out sooner. That did not work out at all. At the end of August, I had two deaths in the family and I was just not up to doing anything. So after like two or three weeks, I did get back into sewing and actually doing this project for Project Dresser Girl, that actually kind of helped me get back into sewing and getting back to doing something I really, really love doing. So what i'm going to show you i have pictures of the dresses that i made and i know that marty from marty sews i know that she's already got them because i saw them in her video that she posted i believe it was this past week so i know she got them i have some pictures that i took and a little bit of a video that i did prior um, while i was still in the process so i'll show you that so for as far as my sewing for project dress a girl is concerned i am done with that i've made three dresses those are them hanging behind me i will show you separate pictures of those but i did something a little different this time i wanted to make dresses for the older girls and so this is the size 12 that i used um, that i made and i used a free pattern that i found online it's called peasant dress pattern scattered thoughts of a crafty mom and it's a like i said it is a free pattern also comes with a long sleeve option which i believe is for knit fabrics you can check that out here i'm just showing you how i attached the lining and put it all together i just basted the lining on to the dress so it was just two layers and then assembled as normal so that's the easiest way of doing that and here i am just pressing up the hem as you can see it's the two layers and it worked out great so as you can see from the video, lining the dress was actually pretty simple. I just cut out another one, sewed it together, really basted it because I believe the seam allowance was a quarter of an inch for the pattern that I used. So I really just uh, basted it along, that, along those edges and um, very easy. I did not line the sleeves because that was not necessary. And the fabric that I used for the lining was actually an old sheet, just a white sheet that I had at home. I had bought at the thrift store and washed it previously. Something like that, it's easy to use and it's kind of the perfect weight. So it's not too thick and it's not too light. It's like really a nice, easy fabric and you know, the sheets, they wash great. So uh, that was an easy thing to use. But the project is done. Like I said, Mari already has my dresses because I saw I sent them to her and I saw that, that they were um, received by her. But uh, yeah, it is a great project. It is a worth, worthwhile project. And it really helped me get back into sewing again after just really not being up to sewing quite before that. But then everything else that happened at the end of August, I was like, I don't know how this is going to go but i was glad to at least get those three dresses done so like i said i will leave some links down below that you can check out because you still have time to get a dress or two done so thanks for watching please go ahead hit like subscribe to my channel take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye